Stacy Burke here. As you can tell, I did my hair a different color uh, since they discontinued the color I usually get, Strawberry Blonde. I tried this color. I kind of like it. I didn't do it completely all over my hair. I just did it a little bit, and I kind of like it. So you can't really tell. I still have the blonde areas and stuff like that. Um, it's Sunday. Probably not going to go to the Playboy Mansion because next Sunday uh, is uh, Super Bowl. And I'm not really into sports, as you know. However, this year's different. I kind of like the Seahawks. I'm kind of a fan of Richard Sherman. I mean, I've been reading up on him and everyone's giving him crap for, you know, the interview he did after playing. And he was all like, you know, pumped up after playing, and, you know, and testosterone running through the body, and I don't know why he's getting, getting some crap. So I, I decided to research him, and I kind of like him. So I'm kind of rooting for the Seahawks. So I'm kind of involved in football right now. Blame Sherman. He brought me in. So I don't know how long this interest is going to last in football, but I'm rooting for the Seahawks. And I love Richard Sherman a lot. In fact, I want to get this jersey I saw. Like, you mad, bro? I like that. It's a shirt. I'll probably put it in pictures, hopefully, on this blog. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to go to Play Mansion probably today. It's kind of gloomy. We went to Nam yesterday, me and my husband, Evil Vic, and um, my friend Dana. Had a great time. I'll probably post that up on the blog as well. Met many people. We wait in line. I don't know if you know about the NAM show, but it's music and stuff like that. And uh, you meet a lot of like rock stars and stuff. And uh, you wait in line like forever to meet them. My husband collects autographs from everybody. He's been doing this for years. So Michael Anthony from um, Van Halen, um, Black Label Society. One of my favorites, Glenn Hughes uh, from Deep Purple, from... Um, I think Black Sabbath. Oh, there's many things. I'm a fan of his because I went to the Whiskey of Go-Go and I saw him play with Lita Ford and Shuri. I can't pronounce her name really right, but I think Shuri. I keep saying Cherry from The Runaways, um, which was a great show at the Whiskey. And, oh my God, I took pictures and video of that. And I posted that. You might see that. It's the 50th anniversary of the Whiskey of Go-Go. And Lita Ford sang a lot of things from The Runaways. Slash was there. Glenn Hughes sang a lot of songs with her, and he has like, such an amazing voice. So when I met him at um, NAMM, of course I'm like a geek girl getting autographed from him and telling him how great he was, and he was really sweet to me. And he talked to me about how he was friends with Lita and Sherry for like so long, since the 70s and all that kind of stuff. He's a great guy, so follow Glenn Hughes. On, I think he has a Facebook, he has a Twitter and everything. He has an amazing voice. I'm an instant fan because I saw him in person and he just captivated the audience. He was just like, and he has such a great personality. He's awesome. I'm a major fan. So yeah, I went to NAMM yesterday. So we're a little tired. Roy's in the man cave. He's asleep. We were going to go out, but it's getting to be like, um, it's after three now. So I don't know. Grammys are coming on. So I made myself some champagne. I wanted a bellini, but I don't have any juice in the house. So what I do is I get some cheap champagne. This is how I make a ghetto fabulous uh, bellini. You get some of this um, Milo, Mayo, however you say it. It's like a flavor enhancer for water. And this is a mango peach flavor. And I, I don't know if it's sugar free, it probably has sugar, but it doesn't really matter. You do a couple squirts. Not even a couple squirts. I put one squirt. See how pink that is? And you get like a bellini. It tastes like you have the the mango and the peach in it without adding extra sugar to an already sugary champagne drink. And and tastes pretty good. And it doesn't spoil, so you can stock them up. Because juice, that's one of the reasons why I don't have juice, because it always spoils. And I'm, I don't really... I should. I really should eat more healthier. And I'm really trying. 
I've been grilling a lot of Brussels sprouts lately with some olive oil and some Parmesan cheese and stuff like that, you know, all that healthy stuff. And it's good. It's just that you gotta go to the store a lot because it spoils and you eat it and then you gotta go to the store again. And like, you know, processed food like Cheetos, you gotta have that in the pantry for like years. Open it up, it's just as good. So I'm trying, I'm really trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And um, exercising more, doing my yoga stuff is, I gotta get back to jogging and stuff like that. So that's what's going on with me with right now. Hopefully I'm gonna watch the Grammys. I wish, you know, now that football's over, well not really over, but you know, for a while, cause uh, Super Bowl Sunday, I wish like the bars and stuff would have like a Grammy party for us girls. Should go out and watch the Grammys, you know, and just kind of have, you know, some drinks and stuff. But I um, guess it's not that marketable, huh? Kind of sucks. But, um, yeah, the NAM was good. I had a great time. Oh, we, um, after NAM, we got uh, tickets to see Black Label Society at the Grove, which was awesome. And a lot of uh, bands were playing. And um, I just got to let, meet a lot of cool people. And what was cool this time was while Roy was in line waiting to see his fans, his, you know, his bands that he wanted to get autographs, I would sit somewhere else and guys would just come up and start talking like, hi, my name is John, I came from San Diego, what are you doing here? And I talked to them and I met people in line at the bar and I met people like, they were just so friendly, like even at the Grove. Like, hi, you know, and oh, you should see this man. I met so many people. It was uh, a cool vibe. I mean, you just kind of talk. And it wasn't like a flirting thing because when my husband came, I go, this is my husband. They shook his head, hey, nice to meet you, da da da. And we could talk, and I go, pleased to meet you, shake the hand, and walk on. So, um, if you ever get a chance, go to NAM. It was the Anaheim Convention Center. I think they travel around too. I've been going for about six years. This was the best NAM ever. I was just kind of open myself and I just talked to people. I wasn't shy this time and it worked out really good. Oh, I think my husband's awake, so um, I'll vlog a little bit more later.